Okay, so we got our two by twos down here. We want to do two by threes running up this rib, all of these ribs and along the bottom of the window and the top of the window to create kind of like a window frame, right? So two by two was an easy decision to make. It fits like perfectly on this little lip. So no problem and with two by threes to give us a little bit more space to drill our walls and things into. So that's the final decision on that. However, what we were running into is obviously um, going up this rib, there's a million contact points, right? We can drill directly into the rib on the top. We can drill directly into here, uh, which is another rib up top. And that's not a problem. We're not touching the windows. We can cover the windows without touching them, right? Cause these are made of aluminum. These are not steel. They're not super sturdy. They kind of bend a little when you pull them out. So they're not, I mean, I think they would hold the window, but we don't want to damage them. Um, and also we want like these windows are notoriously leaky. I don't want to not have access to them if things start to leak. So our plan is we're running the two by two along the bottom straight stretch. We're running the two by three up the ribs straight stretch, right? Like we're just like a full board and directly across the top, a full board. What we're then going to do so that we're not drilling into our window, um, since we would only have a contact point every, however many feet this is. Uh, two feet, I guess. Um, we instead are going to cut pieces of two by threes to go under each window and screw it in with a pocket jig, right? Is what it's called. Um, so this will be connected to this board, which is anchored on one of the ribs. So if that makes sense, um, it should be sturdy enough. Um, it should be fun. I'm going to try it with one and see how it goes. It may not work. It may be a really stupid idea, but that's what makes sense to us for now. Uh, we're going to try a few things here and see what works. Yeah. Yeah. We also need to make sure that it's level. Mm. Point. We need to go up on this one. Would that make it worse or better? When you were messing with it over there and knocked it down over here. It's your fault. The leveler. <laughs> Am I the only person who calls that a leveler and not a level? What was that? Some kid running by screaming. I guess I don't know. Wow. All right. Let's Good. Yep. Your your pilot holding it up. And I'm screwing it up. Yep. Coffee smells amazing. But no, I mean, does everybody like the smell of fresh cut wood and fresh cut grass? And gasoline, you like the smell of gasoline? Or, or paper mills? Nobody likes to smell of paper mills than I do. Everybody thinks it smells like a fart. Well, fresh cut wood is different than a paper mill. Paper mill smells like some raw sewage. No, it doesn't. There we go. Look at that beautiful thing. Again? Yeah. I mean. So we can go from this into the center, or we can go from the center into this. Well, I would assume that we would go from the center into that since the center needs to be anchored by that, not vice versa. Is that accurate? 
center into this support? Yeah. Yeah, because that's a solid beam that's supported versus that isn't. So why would you? You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know that that technically matters, but that's where my ring goes. All right. So let's learn real quick. Let me create jig action. tried framing out the windows in a way that we thought would work. We did two by twos, two by threes, two by threes, two by three. And the type of wood we used will work, but the way we didn't won't. Um, we did a straight stretch of the two by twos, a straight stretch of two by three, and then two lines here, and then pocket jigged um, the last two by three here to protect the window so we didn't have to drill directly into that. So what we're gonna do now, because that made this all flush and that was perfect because we're doing walls just down here. We're not doing wraparound walls, I think. Um, but it wasn't flush up here, which would make, uh, functionally would be fine, but would not be very pretty. So what we're now gonna do is the bottom rail is fine straight across. We're gonna leave that there. We're gonna make these run all the way up to here. So then this section will actually be shorter and then we're gonna pocket jig that section in as well so it will be more flush like it was down here. No. Um, so take two, let's see if it works this time and we'll go from there. You can turn it off, baby. So our neighbors are remodeling their home and they told us we could peek at the wood and see if there was anything we could use. So that's what we're doing. Can you open some of the windows? Thank you. What are you working on now? Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm talking about your video game. Um, a cross. You're building a video game? Or a court, one level? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do I get to be your tester? No. Yes. And dad. No. Dad and you. Okay, fine. 